friends will be off to new adventures you will see off to the center of the earth or the bottom of the sea so come with me to the center of the earth where life has started first so many things for us to learn solve the major mysteries that lie so deep within our precious world on the bottom of the sea we're down so many leaves just to find the proof we need and the center of the earth the center of the earth travel is what we like to do our adventures old and new they keep us along why don't you help us set our sails we'll discover many trails so come along we got gone and deco cool with Ruby and new friends for you join me along with all my friends on a trip that never ends to many places old and new to the center of the earth where life is starting first so many things for us to learn so the major mysteries that lie so deep within our precious world and the center of the earth the bottom of the sea the center of the earth you gotta come with me Episode 6, Towards the Centre of the Earth. Eighteen days have now passed since our journey to the centre of the Earth began. To win the wager with Mr. Sullivan, we must return to London within 70 days with proofs that Arnie Sacknesson's journey took place. Transfer has been doing his evil best to stop us, even kidnapping Princess Romy and Tico. But unaware, we climbed to the top of the Sneffels volcano. It was so dangerous, one false move could spell disaster. Meanwhile, back in London, Monsieur Sullivan was becoming increasingly confident. It's June the 28th! Ha! <laughs> How time flies! Hmm, <laughs> so 18 days have passed since Fogg began his journey. Ha! <laughs> and what a ridiculous journey! Reach the center of the Earth? Impossible! The only journey that Fogg will complete will be his shamefaced return to London, where, defeated and humiliated, he will have to hand over the sum of twenty thousand pounds. <laughs> and you will fail, Mr. Fogg, because I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure you lose. This wager I intend to win. Our party had reached the top of the volcano. Monsieur Fogg was missing Princess Romy, and I miss my friend Tico. We hoped they were both safe and well. Oh. Huh? Princess Romy, are you there? Princess! Oh! What has happened? No! All this mess! Oh, what a mess! Tico! Where are they? Tico! Huh? Oh no, please, it can't be! They must have been kidnapped! Someone's taken Romy and Tico! I thought they'd be safe here. Willy Fogg trusted me to look after them. Oh, poor Tico, poor Princess Romy. Everybody stop. I want to find out what's in this cave. Right, you. Come along with me. Huh? Hurry up, we haven't got all day. Hey, wait a minute. What's the matter with you, you idiot? Not scared, are you? Uh, 
Oh, I wish we'd stayed in London, truly. If my husband fails, it's going to be all my fault. Don't upset yourself, Princess Romy. Tico, they're back. Right, I've decided that we'll set up camp here tonight. Uh, do you want me to untie their hands now? Yes, but watch them very carefully. I don't want any silly mistakes made now, do you hear? We must... Do something. Yes. This is true, my friend. We are running out of time. One of us has got to try to get out of this place. All right. Well, listen, Tico. If you can manage to create a diversion, I'll try to slip away. Okay, okay. I try to think of something, but you get back as fast as you can. Hey, you, small fry. Come over here. I want to untie your hands. Hey, who do you think you're calling a small fry? You just better shut up or you're going to stay tied up all day. Look! Look, the volcano is on a fire! <laughs> Wait a minute. There's nothing wrong with the volcano. What are you up to? Are you crazy? Can you see at the top is a red hot? Huh? Go now. Right. Don't worry, Tico. I'll be back. Hey, look. The big one is trying to get away. I'm almost as tall as him. Why you call me a small fry, huh? Well, don't just stand there, you fools. After him. Don't let him escape. As for you, Shorty, you just better keep quiet. Short? Me? That's so ridiculous. Get a ah. move on. You're not going to escape. My husband will never let you get away with this. Look at that, Rigodon. Isn't that a wonderful view? Look, over there. Can you see it? That's Greenland. Ah, that's where the polar bears come from, Monsieur Fogg. Yes, that's correct, Rigodon. But you needn't worry, I very much doubt whether we will see any polar bears where we're going today. Our journey will take us in a completely different direction. And that journey begins here. <coughs> Gentlemen, the peak of Scataris. Yes, and the peak will be our guide, showing us the only possible route to the center of the Earth. Hmm. But forgive me, Professor, I don't understand. You are saying that the Scartaris Peak is going to show us the way? <gasps> is that right? Yes, of course. The shadow cast by the peak will show us. Simple. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. You see, once we are down in the crater hands, the shadow will indicate which path we have to follow. Can I help, sir? Yes, Rigodon. Look through my telescope to find the safest way down. Excuse me, Monsieur Fogg, but surely if there is no sunshine, no shadows will be cast. Hmm. That's a very good point, Rigodon. Professor? But look! The clouds are slowly clearing. You see, Mr. Fogg, we don't actually need the sun to shine until we reach the bottom of the crater. I really hope you will be proved right, Professor, but first I must search for the safest way down to the bottom of the crater. Take care, Rigodon. There's no need for any unnecessary risks. Me take unnecessary risks, monsieur? That's the last thing that I want to do. I shall be very careful. Careful now, Rigadon. I don't feel very well, Monsieur Fogg. The volcano looks very deep, Professor Liedenbrock. Nonsense! It is only a few hundred meters deep, Rigadon. Now, once we get to the bottom of the crater, we will have to prepare... Uh, it seems very cloudy, Professor. It does not look as if the sun is going to come out today. Maybe it would be better if we all came back tomorrow, don't you think? Oh, mon dieu! Pull yourself together, Rigodon. And for your information, the depth of this crater is exactly 800 meters. Now, let's see. I can see two, no, three shafts. Yes, three shafts leading down into the volcano. Hmm. And we have to go down? In there? Oh, no! Precisely, Rigodon, for one of those shafts leads to the very center of the Earth. Shall we begin, Mr. Fogg? The sun will shine when we get to the bottom of the crater. Of that, there is... Oh. Look out, oh. man! Oh, oh. oh <sighs> Mr. Fogg, help me, please! Oh. It's all right, Professor, I've got you. Now, hold on, I'm going to pull you out. <sighs> Oh, dear, that was close. Thank you, Mr. Fogg. You saved my life. Don't worry, Princess Romy. Everything's going to be all right. I'm sure of that. Why don't you just try and take your mind off of things? Here, you can play with my yo-yo. 
Hey, small fry, show me what you've got there. Hmm, let me see. What is this? Some kind of compass or something? Hmm. I wonder what this piece of string is for. Oh, I see. The string helps spin the little disc up and down. Oh, the stupid little thing's got a mind of its own. No, no. it's a just take a certain special skill. Now, if you'll be so kind as to return my property to me... Why don't you give it back to him? It's of no use to you. No, I think I'll hold on to this. It might come in handy on my trip back to London. <laughs> ah, there you are. Well, where is he? It's no good. We can't find him anywhere. We hunted high and low. He was gone before we had a chance to see which way he went. Honestly, sir, we've been looking everywhere for him. Don't you realise he's gone for help? He'll ruin everything, you stupid fools. Can't you do anything right? Do I have to do everything myself? How can you let him get away, you unpleasant peasants? Now, hold on a minute. <laughs> let me see. Oh, what do you think you're doing? Silence. You two over here, I just had an idea. Using this handkerchief, I think I can make the situation work to our advantage. I've got a cunning plan. Now, what I want you to do is this. Now, gentlemen, I think we should begin. Hans, would you check the equipment, please? Two picks, two pickaxes, a rope ladder, an axe, a hammer and some pegs, and more rope. And we mustn't forget the room corp lamp, you know? Ah, Rigodon, I wish to inspect the first aid kit, if I may. Yes, sir. I have it here, Monsieur Fogg. Your wife prepared it for us before we left London. That's excellent. Now then, let's see. Ah, splints. Now they'll come in handy. For any broken bones or broken compound bones? fractures oh, that we might dear. receive on the journey. You really think there might be broken bones, Monsieur Fogg? We have to be prepared, Rigodon. You never know. Ah, bandages. Good. Now what else have we got in there? Ah, excellent. Oh, mon dieu! A scalpel for real emergencies. Oh, we won't really need that, will we, Monsieur Fogg? Steady now. Of course we'll need it, Rigodon. I might have to carry out a serious surgical operation. Ooh. Although I'm sure nothing will happen, of course. Everything will be fine. We'll take the first aid kit along just in case. Now, Mr. Fogg, I really do think the time has come for us to begin the descent. Hey, Professor. I think I can see somebody coming. It looks like the villager who let us stay in his hut the other night. That's funny, Hans. Those people don't usually like to venture far from their village. A very good day to you, my man. And how can we help you? Although we really haven't very much time, we are about to continue our journey. This is true, my friend. We are about to embark on a very long and dangerous... deep journey. Mm. Somehow I'm not so sure this man is our friend Rigodon. Now, how did you get hold of this? It's your wife's handkerchief. What has happened to Princess Romy? Come on, tell us. Come on. I'm afraid I don't understand the meaning of all this. Hmm? Transfer says you must give up your journey and come down from the volcano by sunset. That is the only possible way you can hope to save the lives of your wife and friend. But our expedition to the center of the Earth! You cannot do this to us! You have Tico prisoner too? Yes, we've got that noisy little shrimp as well. And we won't let either of them go till you come down from the volcano. Do you understand? So Transfer's behind this, you say? I might have known it was him. Only Transfer would be capable of such a dastardly trick as this. I must go. If I do not return to the camp soon, Princess Romy is going to pay for it. Why, you? Let him go, Hans. We cannot allow Princess Romy's life to be put in any more danger than it already is. It's almost over. Willy Fogg will soon abandon his expedition and Sullivan will win the wager. Don't think that you're gonna get away with this, you dirty, rotten traitor. We must not give up hope, Princess. Okay? Yes, I know, but let's hope Transfer's men haven't found my husband yet, Tico. He must be allowed to continue. If Transfer stops my husband reaching the center of the Earth, he'll be devastated. Yes, wait until our good friend returns to rescue us, Princess. Everything went as planned, sir. Well, what happened? Come on, tell me, what did Willy Fogg have to say? He'll come down. He's worried about the princess. <laughs> I've got him! Did you hear that, Princess Romy? Your gallant husband, Willy Fogg, is going to give up his journey in order to save your life. Oh, Romy, you'll always have the key to my heart. 
It's all over. <laughs> Solomon will win the bet. <laughs> win the bet. <laughs> <laughs> we showed over. Ah, <laughs> yep, we sure did. What are you two <laughs> laughing at, you stupid buffoons? I want those two prisoners gagged before fog arrives. Now be quick. We've come a long way, Professor. I'm not going to give up that easily. It seems we have no choice, Mr. Fogg. We must give up our journey and return home. See, even the sun is not on our side. It does not shine. Everything is against us. It's hopeless. Hmm. Hmm. Rest assured, gentlemen, the sun will shine. But first, we have to rescue my wife and Tico. Mr. Fogg, I think I've got an idea. I could get down the volcano without being seen and take them by surprise. It sounds dangerous, Hans. No, no, I'd do anything to save the princess. I can climb down with my rope, they'd never see me. Ah, that's the spirit, Hans! Together we can beat them, my friends. Yes, gentlemen, we'll soon be back on our journey to the center of the Earth. Yes, but first we must rescue Romy. Still no sign of him. He should have been here by now. Wait a minute, what's that? I can see someone. Yes, it's Winnie Fogg at last. He's coming down. <laughs> They'll be here in a minute. Get ready for action. I've beaten him. Willie Fogg. Really clever ha! plan, don't Look! You <laughs> Shh! Oh, Hans, how can I thank you? You save us just in the nick of a time. It's so good to see you. Are you all right, Princess Romy? Yes, thank you, Hans. But what about my husband? He'll never get to the center of the Earth, and it's my fault. Don't worry. There's still time. Let's go, quickly. Hey, who are you? What's going on? Look out, quickly. The prisoners are trying to get away. Boss! Mm. Where on Earth did he come from? Quickly, grab him. I'll take care of the princess. Go on! Tico, stay with the princess. Let me deal with these dirty, rotten, cheating... Oh, Hans, please be careful. Transfer's men are ruthless villains. Don't worry, princess. We take care of them. Come on, Hans, show them what you're made of. I'm right behind you, my friend. Come here, you! Ugh. Look out, Hans! Look out! The other ones are coming. He's behind you! I'll teach you to try and mess with us, you great big oaf. <clears throat> It's all over now, Princess Romy. You must come along with me. Take your hands off me at once, you horrible creature. I do believe that you're getting angry with me, Princess Romy. Now, that's not very ladylike, is it? No! Oh! There, that'll teach you a lesson. Come back! Hey, you big oaf! You leave the princess alone or you're gonna be pretty sorry. I'm warning you, okay? <whistles> I'd recognize that whistle anywhere, Monsieur Fogg. Tico! He's in trouble. We must get there as quickly as we can. Take your hands off. Leave me alone. I'm coming, Romy. Oh, Willie, my darling, please be careful. It's all right, my dear. You're safe. Look out. There's more of them. Come on, you two. Get him. Mm. Oh. Down you go. Now then, you great big oaf. This is my property, I believe. Uh, take that. That will teach you to cause us so much trouble. Yeah, we'll show you. <gasps> Rigodon, do something. They're attacking Mr. Fogg. Oh, no, mon dieu. Don't worry, princess. I will save Mr. Fogg. You just leave everything to Tico, huh? Yeah. Mm. My thanks to you, Tico. Ooh. Come back, you peasants. Curse is the cowards are running away. You haven't seen the last of me, Willy Fogg. I shall return. You will never get to the center of the Earth! Hey, come back, you scaldy cat. You're not so big now, you coward. Don't worry, Tico. We won't be seeing him for a while. Oh, Willy. Romy. Romy, it's all right, my dear. You're safe now. Oh, darling, are you all right? I thought I'd never see you again. Will you accompany me on our journey to the center of the Earth, Romy? Willy, my darling, I want to be with you always. And don't you ever go running off and leaving your friend Tico behind, Rigadon. You hear me, huh? It's okay, Tico. We're all together again. Mr. Fogg, look. You're right, Hans. The sky's beginning to clear. Now nothing can stop us getting to the center of the Earth. 
Princess Rumi, I would like to take this opportunity to say what a pleasure it is to have you accompany us on our journey. Thank you, Professor. It looks as though the sun will be out soon. Let me see. It's now 18 days since we left London. The sun should be approaching its optimum position, so indicating which path to follow. So now we're gonna go to the centre of the Earth. Oh no, what a long way down! It's such a long way down, I can't even look! Hey Rigadon, tell me how far it is to the centre of the Earth! Be warned, my friend, it's going to be a very long and dangerous journey. Well, I hope you're gonna look after your friends this time, Rigadon. I'm sure you don't wanna go and lose Tico down there. Glad to see you again. She's Romy. Nice to have you along, so deep in the earth. Will we Tico and me along with good old Rigadon? Want to say that we're glad you're along. Journeys through uncharted distant lands, places no one ever gets the chance to see. Hmm. Hmm. Hans, you go down first. Mm hmm. <clears throat> All clear, Mr. Fogg. We're coming down now. Be careful! Give me your hand, my dear. Hmm. Look! The sun! It's there behind the clouds. Hmm. As you can see, there are three separate shafts, but only one of them will lead us to the center of the Earth. I wonder, my friends, which one will it be? Monsieur Fogg, Professor Liedenbrock, come quickly! What on earth's the matter, Rigodon? Have you found something? Mm-hmm. I say, well done, Rigodon. We're certainly on the right track. Look, Professor. What does it say? Tell me. It says Arnie Sacknesum. It's incredible, Mr. Fogg. I can't believe it. We really are following in his footsteps. Yes, that's his signature. All we need to know now is exactly which direction he took. Hey, Mr. Fogg, you want me to put our names here, right next to Mr. Sack Newsom's name? That way we will all be as famous as him, and if my friend from the Valkyrie should come this way, he will see this, then know how to find us, you see? I do indeed, Tico. That really is a splendid idea. You carry on, but I think that you'd better hurry. Look, Mr. Fogg, the clouds are clearing. The sun, it's going to shine. It's pointing to the middle shaft. Which means, my fellow travellers, that this is the way to the centre of the Earth. This really is an historic moment, but let's not waste any more time. We must begin our descent immediately. Right away, Monsieur Fogg? Wouldn't it be better to wait a little while? I mean, we don't want to just jump into a black hole. It might be very dangerous. You should stop worrying so much, Rigadon. For it, Mr. Fogg, for it. Yes, forward, Hans. Come on, Rigadon, let's go! One by one, we began to climb down into the middle shaft, not knowing what adventures lay ahead on our journey to the center of the Earth. It seems that our enemy transfer was never far behind us as we descended into the Sneffels volcano. Lowering ourselves down a rope was very dangerous, and loose rocks proved to be a constant danger. One slip, and we would fall to our doom. We soon discovered gruesome evidence that someone had attempted the journey before us and failed. But Monsieur Willie Fogg was determined that nothing would stop us reaching the center of the Earth. <laughs>